Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today you join me from my hotel bathroom floor in Lanzarote and I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this hair that I have been wearing a lot lately styled like this. I've had quite a few um, comments and requests to show how I style my hair like this. So that's what I'm doing today. And if you wanna see how I achieve this look, then do keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and give it a thumbs up and enjoy this hair tutorial. And PS, yeah, sorry for my burn face, but that is just cause I'm on holiday. <laughs> enjoy the video and let's get into it. Okay, so this is the curling wand I'm gonna be using. It is a Babyliss Smooth Vibrancy Curling Wand and I just got this in Super Drug. It's a 25 to 13 millimeter barrel and that's kind of how it creates the corkscrew curls. I actually picked this up by mistake because my normal curlers broke so I wanted to get a new set of curlers and these are the only ones there so I've kind of ended up with it by default but I kind of like the way the curls turn out because they kind of give this natural curl vibe which is really nice so i'm just gonna section my hair i've mentioned before i have taping hair extensions which are applied by best hair extensions on instagram i'll leave her details down below um i've actually got in i think it's 22 inches um full head of russian Hair which are applied by invisible tape so you can't really see them but i'm getting them maintenance soon because they've grown out loads but yeah they're the extensions i have so what i like to do is take sections of hair and obviously the barrel and i just tend to, most of the hair i curl away from the direction it's facing because then that gives it a fuller look rather than curling towards your hair but then I do do a few strands where I curl it towards because then it makes up the direction and it just gives it a bit more volume with this sort of hairstyle there's going to be a lot of volume anyway because you're going to have so many so many curls that we then brush out at the end which gives it that more natural look so I'm just hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds depending on how big the strand of hair is and then it will come out like this like super corkscrew curl so it does look a bit crazy to start with but eventually you do brush it out and then it looks more normal and i like to do sections of hair when i've got time um because that way then you make sure you get all the hair and it's not just big chunks it's kind of better so yeah that's what i like to do so i'll do one side then i'll do the other then i'll spray it all and then i'll brush it out so it does it is quite a long process especially if you do have a lot of hair it does take about say between half an hour and 40 minutes um depending on how quick you are at curling the hair and how much you have but for me yeah it does take quite a while but then the results are really good so it's worth it if you've got the time and patience to do your hair like this so as I said, I didn't actually mean <laughs> to get this hair curler, but I'm really liking wearing my hair like this recently. So I would recommend, I think it's, I think it was £28, the curler, which isn't too bad. And they do tend to last like a few years before they die on you because my other curlers, I've had them for about, yeah, maybe three, four years. And then they literally just died on me the other week so i had to get a new pair of curlers the ones i had before was a thicker barrel um, and it gave more like a soft curl whereas these give really almost ringlet type curls so i'm mainly taking about an inch of hair and alternating direction so some away some towards but mainly away i think is best especially as you get to the front section, you'll want to do it away from your face, otherwise it looks a bit weird. Um, but underneath, it doesn't really matter too much what way you're going. And as I said, you're going to just brush it out anyway. So you can see my tapes have really grown out. I am getting them done very soon. So that is 
fine but they've lasted about i last had them maintenance in august and we're now in october so yeah it's been a good three months and they're still holding on in there so yeah i'll get them done soon don't you worry so yeah the ringlets are like super tight it's really nice but they obviously do drop out quite quickly so i shouldn't worry too much and once i've done each section i like to spritz it with a little bit of hairspray just to help it hold and last longer because i find when i don't use hairspray it just doesn't hold and it just goes a bit funny whereas this kind of keeps it in shape so i'm just going to grab some hairspray Yes, I'm sitting on the floor in my hotel bathroom at the moment. It's not the best setup, but it's the best I could do. So I'm just sectioning this part out. I'll just pop it up. So I'm just doing the same thing, taking chunks and it's really really easy this um curling wand in particular has different heat settings so if you don't like using anything super hot you can have it like on a low temperature but i just use the hottest one which is 210 degrees because i think that gives the best result the hotter it is but it has like 165 180 195 and 210 so you can if you don't like super hot curlers and this one has options so depending on how delicate your hair is you will have seen on my instagram i'm actually away at the moment which is really nice and there is a holiday vlog coming so make sure you watch out for that which will be fun i've been filming while i'm out here so yeah, if you want to see that, make sure you check it out. I'll upload it very soon, so that's coming your way as well. Okay, and just the final section on this side. And then I'll do the upside off camera, and then I'll show you how I brush it all out and start it. And when I'm doing the front sections, I like to take slightly smaller chunks than I do at the back because it kind of gives it that more natural vibe because you tend to have like tighter curls at the front compared to the back. That's what I do. Again, majority of it curling away from my face. I also like to start quite high up on the, when I take a strand of hair because it would look weird if you have like a straight section and then like really really tight curls so i do like to start it quite high up um obviously the bow is quite big so even if you have long hair there's a lot of space to start it and it also gives that kind of like bump at the top which again makes it look like it's more natural like yeah just more natural curls okay so that is one side of hair all curled i'm just spritzing it with a little bit of hairspray um i'll go ahead and do the other side off camera and then show you how i style it all but this is like the difference between one and the other so yeah it's quite straightforward it's just really time consuming um so it's not i wouldn't say it's like something you can do in like 10 minutes leave the house and we thought it like you need a good like half hour 40 minutes to do it but it's a really nice hairstyle so yeah i'll finish the other side and then i'll show you how to style it i've now gone ahead and curled the other side so, as you can see it's like you could leave it like this it would be fine 
um but sometimes the ringlets are like really really tight so i kind of like to brush them out a little bit again that kind of just gives it that more natural finish so what i tend to do is take like a really really soft soft brush and i like flip my hair over and i just kind of like brush through it ever so slightly and kind of just loosen the curls and like pull them apart to make even more curls um and yeah kind of just run my fingers through it and it kind of just gives it a bit more volume and i'll take a bit more hairspray super big i'll pull this section and kind of flip it over it just gives it a bit more volume and just looks really really big and natural and yeah that is how i style my hair for beachy wavy natural curls i mean it's not rocket science it's a really really nice look um it's kind of how i've been liking wearing my hair recently so yeah that's how i do it i hope you enjoyed watching if there's any more other kind of videos you want to see do let me know don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up i hope you enjoyed it and watch out for my holiday vlog um that will be up very soon so do be sure to check it out Bye. You're the one that is a woman.